Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Good morning, Trojans. Yes, good morning, Trojans, and welcome to episode 7 of Trojan TV. We have a great show planned for you today, so get off your cell phones and watch Mr. Fournier compete in an arm wrestling competition. Well, wasn't that a competitive match? You're correct, but do you know which sport season is the most competitive at Manton? No, I don't, but please tell me. Winter. Winter? Winter. Well, speaking of winning and winter sports, let's watch some basketball highlights. Okay. <laughs> me a cucumber. That was impressive. Correct you are, little cucumber. <laughs> Speaking of cucumbers, I'm hungry. When, when you're hungry and it's food you crave, you should head to Manson's Blue Cave. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe. <laughs> hey Joe, I'd like some fruit snacks. All right. Thank you. Is that Joe Mogan from Joe Mogan Fan Club? Yes. Wow. Your inspiration has really inspired me to purchase something from the store. I'd like to buy a Rice Krispie Treat, please. Okay. 50 cents. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Want a free high five? Cody's work. Okay. Um, JJ. I will be very interested in buying beef Sticks. Awesome, that's a dollar. Okay, put it on my credit card. Okay. Ah, beep. He's cute. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that's a dollar. Wow, the, the, I can't find any value anywhere. <laughs> You're welcome. Cody, I can't Cody, find any Cody, better value anywhere Cody. else. Well, I certainly am going to spend my hard earned money in that fine establishment. Who wouldn't? Oh, rats! What? I forgot to wish you a happy new year. Oh, same. Speaking of, what's your New Year's resolution? Mine is to eat less spiders in my sleep. Oh, mine was just to grow four inches. Right, um, let's go to Zoe in the newsroom to see what everyone else's New Year's resolution is. Nadia, what was one of your 2020 resolutions? Um, one of my resolutions for 2020 is to weigh 20 pounds. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hugo, what was your 2020 resolution? My 2021 resolution was to weigh 210 pounds before track season. Nice. What was yours? Um, to get this balance system done. Good. What was yours? I want to weigh 450 by football season. <laughs> Great. Okay. Libby, what was your 2020 resolution? <laughs> to have a resolution for 2021. <laughs> Uh, Cyrus, what was your 2020 New Year resolution? Uh, my 2020 New Year's resolution was to graduate four-year college in one year. What New Year's resolutions have worked for you? 
flossing my teeth. I wasn't as gross about flossing my teeth. Like I still got it done, but every time I went to the dentist, and some of you, like when you guys go to the dentist, they always tell you you don't floss enough, right? Um, what I got with those little like flosser, like plastic flosser things, and that, and then I just put it in my car when I'm driving, or you know, maybe put it in the shower, and then when you're singing in the shower, use it as your microphone, whatever. <laughs> Well, that sure was interesting. Yes, it was. Now it's time to announce the Trimester One Awards. In English, a Trimester One Achievement Award goes to Nancy Friley because she takes care of everyone else so often that she sometimes forgets to help herself. In addition, two more English awards were awarded to Dennis Rush and Jennifer Cervantes for their pride in learning, their passion for doing their very best, and grit for digging in and finishing strong. In science, Mia Marquez has been recognized because she is very studious and always helps others. In addition, Braden Getson has received an achievement award in environmental science because Braden was always Mrs. Picton's go-to guy, especially when dealing with the data of science and the formulas involved. In history, Teresa Venegas is recognized by Mr. Soliday because she worked very hard in both CWP and world history. She produced several excellent presentations. She is a very conscientious and dedicated student. In computer science, the Trimester One Achievement Award goes to Sam Cappy. Sam has the grit to overcome challenges and continue to have great success in Computer Science 3, Java programming. Way to go, Sam! In math, two students were recognized. First, Irvine Chavez received a Math Achievement Award because he defines what it means to have grit. Irvine started the year on a rocky path but was able to turn it around and has shown tremendous growth. Cody Fitzpatrick also earned an achievement award in math because he is an outstanding math student and an outstanding person. He received a perfect score on both his calculus final and his math 101 final. His ability to work hard, stay positive, and help others is inspirational. In physical education, Belen Santana has been recognized for her incredible diligence every day in class. Congratulations, Belen, on setting two school records. In addition, Connor Torgerson has been recognized for his excellence in physical education. He showed incredible heart during his PACER test, and his focus in class is infectious. In shop, Blake Cochran has been recognized. He is always willing to help when called upon. Blake is very talented in many skill areas. In addition, Teresa Venegas has been recognized in shop with an achievement award. She is someone who does not shy away from challenges. She is always willing to try something new and different to expand her knowledge. In art, Maddie Alejo has been recognized. She created many pieces for the art and music concert, even creating art for an entire song at home on her own time. In addition, Yvette Senevol received an achievement award in art. Yvette created many pieces for the art and music concert as well. Her pieces were really quality realistic animal paintings and drawings. In jazz band, Brianna Harris was recognized for her extreme work ethic that continues to propel her abilities. In high school band, Talon Ernest was recognized for his love and dedication that he shows in his pursuit of music mastery. In Spanish, Katie Gosmaner, Josephine Thompson, Libby Ireland, Kendall Petrie, and Leah Westfall were all recognized. They work so hard independently in Spanish. Every project is done with detail and care. Congratulations to everyone. Well, that's it for today, folks. And remember, you have the power to make anyone smile. Let's all be kind and work hard. But more importantly, go, go buy something at the Blue Cave. <laughs>